Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I got a cool one for you today. Uh, so today, I've never showed you these arrows. I've been hiding them from you. Uh, I did mention it in one video, but it was like only a short little clip. Uh, I kind of happened to myself. These arrows are the Shero Carbon arrows. The, it's like, it says Spine 500. Um, I ordered them off of Amazon because it was really cheap. And uh, I just wanted to test them for myself. Um, I just bought my recurve and I was like, I want some feather arrows, but I didn't want to spend the feathered arrow price. If you guys know anything about feathered arrows, they're really expensive. So these, bought these, and I'm going to show you what they hold up to. I've shot so much stuff that shouldn't be shot with these arrows. It's insane. These arrows are the most durable arrow I've ever think, I, well, I know that I've ever seen. And I want to show you guys them. I'm, I'm not even saying that. Like, I'm, I'm just straight up on this truth. I'm going to prove it. So, I'm going to take these arrows, and I'm going to meet you out there, and we're going to put it to the test. And then I'm going to use another arrow that came with the bow and show you what does that arrow compared to this arrow, because it's going to be a good one. You guys can tell that I've used and abused these arrows. You're going to see. I'll catch you out there. So, I'm going to prove this the most durable arrow that I've shot. If you guys go look at my shorts, I've shot it through a metal bin with a broad head. Um, the same exact arrow and um, didn't break it um, still shooting it it's in this pile still shooting it today um, and now I'm going to shoot a concrete block with it to see if it breaks and then I'm going to put it through a car door we're going to see if it'll break under these circumstances I just want to see say, say I'm out hunting I shoot that, that scapula so, I mean I hopefully I have a good enough broadhead to go through it but this is just the air of durability. I'm gonna grab that air and we're gonna see if it shattered or what it did. Got a good ricochet on it. And we'll do a bend test on all of them, make sure that we're not gonna blow it up. The only thing it did is it uh, took the insert a little bit out. But other than that, I'm pretty sure she's fine. And that could be all me because I didn't um, put any extra glue like I normally do on any arrows or whatnot. But watch, we're going to beat this back down. This shot a concrete block with a 50 pound recurve. And she's ready to shoot again. That's pretty cool. I, I don't know any other arrow that would hold up to that. Let's grab that other arrow and see. I imagine that other arrow will, will break. Yeah, this is a legit test. So if this arrow holds up, it holds up. I'll be impressed, but I've shot. It came with six of them. I've lost about three. And the other three have broke. And the last test I'm gonna do besides shooting that door, I'm gonna put it through the tree. And we're gonna see if this arrow, that arrow breaks. I don't think it will. I had pieces just fly by my face from that arrow. It was the knock. The knock flew out of that bow. It spun this all the way loose, flattened the tip on that, and put a crack, two cracks down the knock. I knew that was gonna happen. The arrow, the, sh the shaft of the arrow seems to be okay, but. I've never seen that. I mean, it, it didn't fly off the bow. It flew off the brick. And then this came flying back at 900 miles an hour right past my face. So. That knock right there. Sorry, I got people texting me. My mom, she said that she loves me. I'm the greatest. I know. Um, but these arrows are just like super tough. 
these knocks right here, um, they are glued in place, so I mean that could be a factor, but I don't think so. Um, knocks that are on it ain't glued in place. I know that. The only reason those are is because they're lighted knocks that I put on it. See, I can untwist this one. It's coming out. Uh, I don't want it to come out though, because I'm going to shoot it. Um, we'll shoot this one instead of the glued one. All right, let's put it through that car door. Let's see what she does. And these feathers do get matted down. You just take your finger. Um, Haley's really good at getting them back to like the way they was. Um, so that ain't a problem. I mean, you can shoot them like that, even just fall from them. I mean, they're gonna fly the same. These arrows fly super straight. Super, super good at this. I'm just. All right, where should I shoot? Left side or right side? Right side. Hard. I'm gonna shoot another one into it. We're gonna test two arrows. I'm gonna put one on the left side. I would see how good I am if I could hit that mirror off, but I don't think I am. Those are smacking. Let's go down here and check them out. Put a little scuff marks on it. Might need a paint job, but that arrow is stiff. I'm bending it too. I mean, I'm not. She's good. Like it never even happened. I've shot these for a whole year. I've shot them through anything and everything you can imagine. I mean, I've shot them at a lot of stuff and I haven't had one break. I did have one, uh, that's a lie. I did have one of the whole thing break. And that was because of me. And it broke right here. Because I shot it. Into the tree. Instead of pulling it out this way. I went like this. And she yanked down on it. And my brute force snapped it. So I, I don't think you can count that as a fail in the arrow. That's a fail in me for not being common sense smart. Um, I wonder if even just dropping the brick on it would break it. That's a good test. Let's see. Should I just drop it or should I throw some might into it? I did crack it. That one was on. I just wanted to see, but that took a while. I put all my mind into checking that brick down. That shows how good of an error. I mean, to withstand a car door, a, just smacking that even, and then going on to throwing a brick on top of it to have to break it, that's pretty impressive. And these have been shot like, I'd say, probably three or 400 times since last year, each arrow. So. We're talking a lot of abuse on these arrows that you're going to get out of. Buying them fresh out of the pack. Use this shoot at a regular target every day of life. You'd never have this problem, would you, Haley? Mm -mm. That's how good that these arrows are. I'm just super impressed. I buy them every day. I'm going to buy them every day of the year. Um, for recurve arrows, they're super, super strong. Let's put one on top of this tree. Let's see if, it, let's see if she breaks. This arrow, I'm not even going to check because I know she's good. That one broke because of me. Keep that in mind. I, t I threw a center block on it with all of my might to break it. And you know what the crazy part is? The rest of them, I'm still going to shoot and abuse them. And I'm still taking them out this hunting this season. I, that's how much trash they got into. I can't probably get much more harder than a tree, I don't imagine. Maybe some steel, but I don't have any steel to shoot, so the tree's as good as we're gonna get.
Didn't hear no cracks in it. Looks good, other than you need a paint job on her. Um, the perfect arrow. I mean, it's fly straight, comes out of the bow nice and smooth. Um, has this protector so your fletchings always stay on. The, the factory knocks are really tight, they stick to your bow. Um, I couldn't be more happier. I shoot a deer in the bone. If I have a good broad handle on that, it's going through anything. I'm going to try to hit the mirror. This for fun. This for you guys. Let's go back and try Now, if I miss and hit the glass, Emery over here is going to be out here for hours picking up glass. Or Haley. What? Under. I was a little nervous. I don't want to hit the glass. I don't want to... Right underneath it still. You just it. Right above it. I'm hitting everywhere besides where I want. Keep missing, we're gonna have to get four yards from it. Miss a bad shot. She's down. Alright, let's go out here. Barely in her, but she's in her. This arrow or this car door has seen better days. So is this field tip. It's hot. Um, yeah, I mean, look at all the dents that these arrows were going to. So, I mean, for a recurve, that's about normal, I'd say, especially in metal. Um, they're having some good, good. I would like to see it go through the door so it actually put some stress on the arrow. But um, I'd probably have to have a higher poundage bow. To do that, I'm gonna shoot it right in there. Uh, ooh, I broke one of my lighting knocks off. It's all the other little pieces that are failing, not the arrow. I, I should have bought some better knocks. That's crazy. Um, but yeah. When you buy these, and they and the, the cool thing about these arrows I wanted to mention is they come in a 12 pack, so it's not like you're gonna have not have enough arrows. I think they're like, don't quote me, I think they're like 40 to like 20 in between that range for a 12 pack of arrows, and they just they're super, 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 super cool. I just absolutely love them. Um, I'm a highly satisfied customer. I've been shooting them for a year, personally testing them. Um, that's why I felt so confident coming out here today, bringing this corridor out. Um, you can just use them, use these zeros, and they're just not gonna break. Now that is a quality arrow. I'm going to link their description down below. It's a Wolfman Archery. Um, he makes them. And they're just an all-around good arrow. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. Um, hopefully you're having a good day. I uh, hope this showed you what kind of arrows to buy for this year's deer season. Um, I know I'm kind of late on posting the video. You probably bought your arrows. But um, just go go purchase some and check them out. And put, put your own test through them. And uh, tag me in it. Um, leave a comment. I'd love to see you guys' reviews on them. Um, I know, personally, those are the best arrows I've ever shot, and I've shot a lot of arrows in my day. Those are them. Anyways, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.